Hey there YouTube, welcome back to another black powder update. Uh, this month I'm really spelling out the videos for you. Um, just finished my uh, fourth of four French battalions that I, that I had on the books. Very happy to have finished them all. Um, I wouldn't say that I'm sick of painting French. Uh, but um, I kind of, you know, it's, it, four battalions is, is, is a good number. So uh, I'll be swapping over to something different uh, after this. Um, finishing this battalion also means that I'll be doing my French army update. Uh, probably within the next few days. Um, probably most likely tomorrow. Um, and uh, yeah, that, that, that's the sort of the, the, the very basic plan so far. Um, Let's uh, get into this battalion. Uh, this is the uh, 64th uh, line, uh, again from uh, Third Corps, and these guys are actually from the same uh, infantry division. Well, not infantry division. Um, they're actually from the yes, they are from the same division actually. Uh, the 37th and 64th are from Second Brigade, Eighth Division, Third Corps, of course. Uh, so. Uh, happy to have uh, finished half of another uh, division. Um, what I've actually decided to do, well, I mean, you'll see when I when I uh, do my French army up there. Actually, so so I won't bother going into that. Uh, so let's get into this uh, this unit. Like I say, uh, I, I mixed in a, quite a fair few uh, Warlord Fusiliers into this, uh, but we'll start with the. Um, the grenadiers. These grenadiers are all uh, Victrix because I had obviously run out of uh, grenadiers. We have another uh, sapper here, a uh, different position. Uh, I think I ended up using this. I think I, I can't remember if I used the same body. I, th I think it's a different body. Um, but again, I'm really happy with how he, how he turned out. I didn't bother making him an axe this time. Uh, I, I didn't think it was it was really really that worth it. You can see he's a grenadier. Um, so. Uh, you know, he's fictionally carrying an axe. Uh, I, I was kind of looking at the axe that I did before, and it's, it's okay, but it's nothing super special, and it wasn't worth the effort of of building another one. Uh, but I do like this uh, grenadier. He came out just as good as the first one. Um, is I've given him just a slightly less full beard, um, but it's still it's still pretty uh, he's still pretty hairy. Uh, and then we've got f uh, three other normal. Uh, sort of uh, Vectrix Grenadiers. I tried to give them all, <coughs> excuse me, uh, covered uh, Shakos. Uh, so we've got the one kneeling, uh, reloading, and the other two here in the background. And we've got some uh, another mixture of uh, various backpacks. We've got the guy with a bottle of wine and uh, a mess tin. And you see the sapper's got a copper cup, or a brass cup, and uh, that is the Grenadiers. Fairly happy with them. Next up, the fourth. These guys are all Warlord. Again, nice mixture of uh, different coloured uh, long coats. We've got some uh, Mirage Blue or uh, French Mirage Blue and some Akaki and a couple of uh, the light greys. And a mixture of colour backpacks again. We've got a, a copper tin there, a cup of feeding, uh, frying pan or tin, cooking tin. I mean, Warlord guys are so-so, but um, sometimes they can they can be uh, uh, a nice uh, addition to mix in. So there's the fourth company. Uh, Voltiers up next. These guys are all um, Perrys from the Perry skirmishing uh, figures, and. Uh, my experiment to try and get them to take Victrix arms didn't quite go as successfully as I, as I wanted. Um, there were arms that didn't like to get, didn't like to fit. Um, so most of these arms are actually Perry's. Uh, some of them have got the, like this one here, has got the uh, the Victrix uh, cartridge arm rather than the the, uh, 
the Perry's one, which is, uh, is I don't think I actually, actually, actually used it on this uh, particular stand, but that's a Perry's arm there. He's obviously Perry's. And this guy has, has actually got uh, Vectrix arms. I don't actually quite like this position, actually. It's like a sort of uh, almost uh, an on guard position. It's quite nice. So there's the, uh, the Voltiers. And again, a mixture of uh, backpacks. So that is the Voltiers. Uh, next up we'll go for the drummer. Now this drummer is the Perry's plastic drummer, which I did actually prefer over the uh, the Vitrix drummers. The Vitrix drummers, uh, they look fine, but the only thing I didn't like about them is that their drumsticks are very, very thin, uh, and uh, they they almost look like chopsticks. So I thought, well, I'm going to go with the, uh, the Perry's plastic drummer. I've, I've used one before, and they are actually pretty good figures. And of course, flanked by three uh, Warlord guys. Got another copper pan there. So obviously that guy's a bit of a cooking enthusiast. Bringing his own uh, copper pot from home, perhaps. Or he's nabbed it from somewhere. So that is the drummer stand. And next up, the sergeant stand. So here we have three world guys and a Vectrix Sergeant. Uh, you might recognise this pose from uh, the Sergeant that I used in my uh, second Swiss. Uh, but this time his hat is down rather than up. That's my cat rustling around and, and to the side. Uh, she's, I think she's trying to get out. I'll, I'll let her out in a second. So yeah, I think uh, Vectrix guys seem to go quite well with, uh, with the world guys. So that is the sergeant stand, and then finally the command stand. And I'm very pleased with how this turned out. Actually, I, I decided to uh, to change it up again and use uh, arms and, and positions that I've never used before. Um, we'll start off with the standard bearer. There's the flag, uh, GMB 64th. Um, there's the Perry's uh, standard bearer. Uh, not the best standard bear I've ever seen, but he's okay. And behind him we have the uh, the junior officer, the the, uh, the the full lieutenant. So he's maybe a little bit more experienced than a, than a junior officer. And you can see that I've used the Victrix option of swapping out the hand for a pistol, which is quite cool. And I've given him a, a kind of a sabre type sword and the appropriate scabbard. And here we have the eagle cat, the eagle bearer, and again I've given him the uh, using plastic putty. I made the um, the red flag for his uh, halibut, and you can see that I've also given him a pistol, and I've remembered to snip the pistol out of his holster, so he's got the uh, the one pistol rather than having two in there. So that's quite cool, and even the colonel has uh, got a pistol this time. And again, a really nice figure for, for, for to use as the colonel. I really like his. Uh, I, I um, converted, uh, well, very slight conversion. I basically cut the arm, the original sword arm off, and uh, repositioned another arm onto the top, so it looked like he was kind of pointing his sword. And of course, uh, the, the easy hand swap to give him the pistol. I really like uh, this the way this command stand out, came out, and I really do like the Vectrix officers. I think they're great figures. They're definitely uh, the best plastic command officers you can get out of uh, Warlord. Well, Warlord don't do plastic officers for uh, infantry, but uh, definitely better than the Perrys. So that is the command stand, and that uh, completes uh, my little run through of this particular battalion. Uh, Plans uh, for next, uh, let me just bring the camera out a little bit. Uh, so like I said, um, I'm going to give uh, French a rest now. Um, I've just done obviously four battalions, 
Uh, next up on the books, uh, we are going to go for uh, some British. I've managed to get myself a box of uh, British Napoleonic Cassars, um, and uh, they're going to be next on the books. And uh, I might, uh, I'm, some of you uh, might have, uh, I might have mentioned it before that um, these guys are basically going to become the uh, the Cumberland Cassars. Um, and uh, I'm quite looking forward to doing them actually. Uh, I don't know, are they on the back here? They are actually. So there they are there. They've got quite a, quite a well, it's green uniform. Uh, but uh, I think they look pretty good. And I'm quite looking forward to them. And uh, when I actually do them, I'll, I'll go a little bit more into their, their history because um, they're, they're quite an interesting, uh, quite an interesting regiment. So that is uh, the plans for uh, the immediate future. Um, I also might well um, zap up a couple of uh, French battalion uh, commanders uh, because I have actually got two left. Uh, so I might well uh, do those two while doing the uh, the Hussars. But yeah, this is uh, quite a short video. Uh, what are we at? We're at uh, just around about sort of 11 minutes or so. Uh, uh, again, um, I've had a, f a handful of subscribers. Uh, thank you very much for subscribing. I hope you enjoy the, the uh, content. And uh, I've been watching all your videos. And uh, I'll catch you in the uh, next video. Catch you later.